Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Um, now, there's a lot of talk about the property, and right, rightly so. People are concerned uh, about the property. They want to know whether it is in a uh, proper situation, what's the condition of that property. So it is a valid concern, and uh, we have no uh, issue whatsoever to show you know, all the documents, all uh, what's concerning the, doc the, the property to assure the people. Alhamdulillah, we have been looking after this property for a big, long number of years. And Alhamdulillah, uh, it's been going from good to better. And uh, there is no uh, uh, mishandling or, uh, uh, you know, Alhamdulillah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala helped us to keep this property in the best shape possible. Now, these are the four properties that are owned by the Manchester Islamic Center, this charity. Uh, the first one is the main masjid, this one. And uh, this was acquired in 1966 by a, uh, the Syrian community at the time. They were traders and, you know, they bought this place and so much benefited the community in so much way. Um, in 1988, um, the flats opposite the Masjid 302 Burton Road were bought. In 1992, a building was acquired in, on Winslow Road. This is now uh, occupied or has been occupied since 2003, I think. Uh, the same tenant, it's uh, a nursery. Uh, in 2015, this is the latest one, number 304, which is next to the 302, 304 was acquired. These are five flats. And what is important here to, for everyone to see, um, now, the, because the trust, that any trust is not a, a legal entity, if you like, and you cannot put uh, uh, the property in the name of the trust. It will have to be in the name of the trustees. And this is where the confusion came, that the property is in our personal names. Yes, but there are a lot of restrictions. And we cannot, it's not our property. Our names are there and, and uh, it's, a, uh, it's a responsibility more than anything else. There's no benefit whatsoever. We cannot do anything. And on the dates, you will see the first restriction and the second restriction. And these restrictions, they are saying you cannot mortgage, you cannot uh, 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 do anything with the property, sell it or anything, swap it without the consent of, without the approval of the Charity Commission. So it is controlled by the Charity Commission, no matter whose name it is, it is there. So this is number one, and you can see the two restrictions there very clearly. Uh, 357, this is the nursery. Again, um, this is 357 Wilmslow Road. Again, what you need to see here is the restriction, again, on the deeds, that this is nobody can uh, uh, do anything with that property without the permission of the Charity Commission. And normally, you have to have a very good reason before you do any change to the property. This is, you know, those who have worked in charities, they, are, they know this. Uh, uh, 302 Burton Road, again, the restrictions are there and the consent of the Charity Commission is needed for any changes. Again, it is in the name of uh, charity, uh, the trustees of the Manchester Islamic Center at the time. So every property is in different names. They are not the same because of the uh, time when it was, who was there and uh, it carried on. So, 304, this is the latest one. Again, this is the one opposite the masjid. As you see, you know, uh, the later deeds have got more restrictions. The first one, if you remember, it was two restrictions. Here, three restrictions. And even, you know, the first one is good enough. But here, just to make tight control that nobody messes around with any property that belongs to a charity. So uh, this is briefly uh, the, the situation of the charity and again in the name of um, the trustees. What we are doing now is we have um, uh, established or registered a, a limited company 
not for profit limited company and it is now applied uh, we have applied to the charity commission to uh, to uh, uh, to uh, give it a charity status and we have to put 5000 pounds in the bank and then apply and uh, they will look at you know the setup of that company they will have to look at so many things before they approve this and it's a matter of time now once this is established it becomes a charity in a, in a uh, uh, limited company, and all this property will be moved into that. This will tidy up the thing, because now, as you see, it's in different names, in different uh, uh, registered, you know, uh, whoever wants to have a look at this, you can see them in the land registry. These documents are in the land registry, and if you want copies, we can give you copies from here. So you can read, I don't want to waste your time too much in the nitty gritty of these things, but every property is in different names and we want just to organize the whole thing and put it in one company, which is a limited company a, that has a charity status. We will not, uh, any, the charity commission will not allow us to change the ownership of uh, the, the property until, it, uh, the, uh, until that limited company, which has been registered, uh, uh, gets the charitable uh, status. So that's that, and uh, I think uh, those who know uh, or have been involved in charities, they will know that this property is safe. There's no problem whatsoever, and uh, the only problem will be: Are they maintained properly? This is the charity commission. Do not interfere in this. Are they maintained properly? This is a big question. Yes. So alhamdulillah, these properties are maintained very well and always kept in the best shape possible because this is the value. This is our responsibility to keep that value as high as possible. And the only way is to keep them maintained, well maintained and updated and so on. Here you can see the uh, income uh, from seven years ago, 2013, you can see uh, number 302, 304, 304 didn't come into uh, until 2015, end of 2015. So you can see the rental income and the total, the year total, and you can see how it's escalating all the time. Now it's reached uh, in 2019, 107,000. And I think this year will be a little bit higher because uh, there has been you know, additional flats, which we are benefiting from, inshallah. So this is uh, now uh, also some uh, people, they asked, you know, the, 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 the company that those 302 and 304, they are on uh, more, more or less management uh, company that they are on let only uh, agreement. They do repairs if we allow them to do the repairs. So if there are any repairs, they come back to us and we see if we can repair it, we'll do it. If not, we'll give it to them. And so on, all the regulations about the property. So we have this understanding with them and they charge us 5%. Normally, you know, we shouldn't say that, but, uh, but uh, you know, it's a 10%. But because of charity, you know, they have reduced it to that much. Now, some people, they think, or they, they um, I don't know how they got the information, that one of the trustees has got interest in this company. You can make a note of that company and see who the directors are. It's very easy to check on that company, and inshallah, you will see that the, nobody, none of the trustees have got any interest in it whatsoever. So this is briefly about the property, and uh, because, you know, some people are saying five million at risk, very big title, five million at risk. And people, you know, some very good people, now they are on the other side, unfortunately, because they heard the five million and they, and we invite them to come and see and look and, and hear and ask. And, and so, alhamdulillah, this is the situation. We, uh, we are doing what we are doing um, for, uh, I'll stop. <laughs>